Hi there, welcome to something of everything. In this video, we will learn how to assign moving unit to a structure, beam, or deck of the bricks. Let us create a beam. Let's snap it, snap to it, and draw a beam from 0 to 10. And close it out. This is a beam. Just for the supports, support in and in post mode. Here is everything except Y. Okay, the name is in and the other is Y. Okay, in the loading definition tab, in definition, vehicle definition. Just press add and define the load. Vehicle type reference. This is the reference to the load type. Let's say one. Width of the vehicle. Width in the transverse direction between two wheels. Let's say one point two for a car. And how many loads with distance axles? Distance between axles. Axles. Let us say the axles are Three meters apart, and the loading is twenty kilometer, twenty three meter distance. Okay. What does this mean? Type one of load. Load is twenty twenty kilometer per axle. Distance is three meter apart. The first is at zero, then the other axle will be at three meter. The width of the vehicle is one point two meter. This is how you define the vehicle loading. Now go to the load case details, press add, save the load generation, how many loads that you want, do you want, okay, the vehicle is 1.2 meter apart and the axle is 3 meter apart, so to cover the 30 meter, 10 meter beam, we have to create, let's say, we are starting from 0, and creating at a distance of 0.1 then we have to create 70 around 70 loads to generate the loads let's select the generate load and press add the type of vehicle you have defined in the definition you have to select that initial position of load in XYZ coordinate, let us say 000. You can see it from here. It will be 000. Range. You can provide. You can leave it. X signal increment 0.1. We want the vehicle to move in the X direction. That is why. Add it out. Let us see what it defines. It will define 70 load cases. Type of one initial point at zero x increment at point one first give analysis print print load data add okay let us provide the property to the bill so that we don't get the errors let's say the date is of 50 mm thick and 2 meter wide. Let's see how it looks like. Assign to the beam. This is how the beam will look like. Actually, that needs to be 2 beams, 1 to 2 meter apart, so that the vehicle moves on both the beams. For this example, let's see how it moves on it. Okay, let's analyze it and see what happens. It gives us by volume, there's no very no worry about it. Let's see the vehicle. As you can see, the start point is 0 and distance between 2 axles is 3 meter. This is load 1. As you move on, it moves 
with an increment of 0.1 at 70th load it reached here I guess some more load needs to be taken yes 70 one will reach there ok let's see the bending of the diagram let's reverse it as you can see as the vehicle moves bending of the diagram changes let's see the shear force ok we will go to output file and see the load data Moving load that would have been applied beyond the X and Z values of the structure has been ignored. Case 1 will 2 or 4 and 4 of 4. There are 4 wheels. 2 axles at 1.2 meter apart. That means there are 4 wheels. One wheel is on the beam, but the other wheel is not on the beam. That is why it shows. Is we wanted to see the loads. Let let us see the loads. As you can see, a whole bunch of loads are being given. Okay, this is loading one, moving load at zero and three meter, zero point one and three meter. As you can see. Now let us give post analysis maximum force envelope number of sections to you 70 sections okay what about this does that command include it let us see Okay, I got it. Let's analyze again and see what the force is given in the results. Maximum force, maximum and minimum force values among all section locations. This will be the maximum force of shear and moment of the vehicle being moved on the beam. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching this. Do like or dislike the video as per your choice. Do share the video with your friends if you liked it. Do comment in the comment section about your doubts on any topic of step pro. We will try our best to solve it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to us. It helps. Thank you.